picks 11. Thomas, conspicuous by his absence, there's been lots of trade talk around him and around Justin Verlander. Well, we don't know if this is his last start as a Met, but he has been fantastic. C.J. Abrams leads off for the Nats. First pitch, swung and missed, and we're underway. Abrams, two for 12. 0-2 to Abrams. Love of Verlander, barehanded by Lindor. Can't make. Season after a rough year in Detroit last year. Yeah, he's sixth. The extra base hits with four off. Danny Mendick is at second base because Jeff O'Neill, Jeff McNeil's in the lineup today. Well, a base hit for Candelaria, and the Nats are in business. Infield back, they'll trade a run for two outs, and a good. There goes Candelario, and that's ripped foul into the netting. He's running, pitches low, throw to second by Narvaez, skips into home, and it's. And Ruiz fouls back the high fastball. Ruiz less RA. Deal in the gap, and he makes a nice jumping. The third is Condolari. So two out, Luis Garcia at the play, and he strokes one foul. Garcia will wind up with Candelario at thirds. Beatty retreats, makes the grab, side retire. Brandon Nimmo leads off against Trevor Williams and takes fastball away for ball one. You know, Mets. Lindor and McNeil to follow. And a leadoff walk for Nimmo. It's an offensive defender. <laughs> there you go. His pitches. There's a strike. Just the second strike in the first nine. And he walks the first two today. For the field uh, yesterday, our friend Dominic at first base. And rolls one down to Smith. Dom goes to second. Good stretch by so. And P. Base hit, and that'll tie the game. Nimmo comes in to Sue on, one out. Here's Vogel back, and he takes a backdoor curveball for a strike. Vogel back. He hasn't called that pitch a strike. That one's in for a call strike three. Got him with a fastball at the for nine in the first three games. And he takes a sinker out of the strike zone for ball one. For this first inning. And it's Alex Call. Calls, catches, side read. I mean, what a joy. For a starting pitching staff, more home runs than most teams have. Door goes out and calls and puts it away. Two down. As Lindor goes out to get it, and Berland is treading water right now. Wins have lost four in a row. Their leads down to a game and a half run against Trevor Williams and second baseman Garcia. One out. In addition to Bobby Witt, by Narvaez charging as Garcia and he throws him out. Um, if you can remember back when he first came up, was team. Garcia, he can't get it. It drops for a hit. Social anxiety, and he had to work past that. The other way, nice one hopper grab by Abrams, a one hop throw. And Verlander pours over a fastball for a strike, one and one. They pop their popcorn. That's true. I've got one near my couch. 2 2. Swing and a miss and calls down on strikes. Second strike. Short stop and right now runs, RBIs, and stolen bases. No Royal has severe shoulder injury out for the season. Snap throw by Narvaez and back in is Ader. Abrams taking off. Narvaez's throw can't be had. Ranking of authenticators. <laughs> How many authenticators are there and how are they? But uh, <laughs> it's not self proclaimed lead authenticator. That is. Words for you. Burnt ends. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Got him with a high fastball. Dialed it up to 96. Well, different Max Scherzer trades. Right. Ruiz. Now, now we have to classify the second. Condelario at first. Lander. Waiting on it is Mendick. And he. Lee Upler, the Mets GM, after the Mets made the Max Scherzer deal official earlier today, he also said that we have valuations on our fly ball by Lindor. Falls in for a, for a scoots into second base. McNeil. And Jeff pops one foul. That'll go out of play. Neil hit into a field. Infield in halfway against Alonzo. Goes after a first pitch changeup and misses. He was a great third base coach in his own right. On the warning track now moves in a step and makes the catch. McNeil. So one out and nobody on for Vogelback. Mm, 
curveball misses down 2 and 0. So now Marcana and he takes a sinker out of the strike zone for ball one. Marcana pounds one in the ring. Nope. Outside ball four and Catton draws a walk. That's the third walk two runs home in the inning. And Beatty takes a knee high fastball for a strike nothing and one. Honey won't get there base hit. Everybody moves up a base both stopped and waited for it to fall and proceeded to third. Now Martin Arvaez takes out some one out. And moves over and gets there to make the cap. Second sacrifice. It goes with it. That's the pitch. If you try to pull it, it's on the ground, and you're in danger. This is one of the things that can plague. And that thrown in the center field. The kind of Williams. But you know we've seen one two coming, and Mendick slams one foul. I was just thinking. Um, Mendick holds the swing on the slider away, and it's two and two. And problems. Down to third, Candelario has got it. And he throws up. Justin Verlander pitching with the lead for the first time. Throws a fastball strike to Luis Garcia. This is down with the changeup, and it's two here. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah. Curveball got him. Verlander strikes out Garcia. A sandwich. They ask you if you want it on a roll or a wedge. Right. I never heard that. I'm up. Line that's going to land for a base hit. McNeil and Dom Smith has his. Well, that's my grandma. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Nothing in one to Dickerson. Oh. <laughs> no, they still had me <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay. I'd love to get there and so oh, on the run he makes the catch as he crosses path. So here's Vargas with two out. He takes a fastball strike. I know that uh, in my day. Strike three called. Will the Marvel Vargas called out on strike three? Brandon Nimmo leads off the bottom of the fourth and fouls with an actual major league batting helmet. There's strike three called, and Nimmo's out on strikes. And, and comfortability because of the long season. Of course, now most of the players have the see once or twice a year. The door to the wall, and it's out of Hicks again. He homers for the second. Enough to come on the air today and talk about Francisco. Right. You know, I think baseball has, you know, in their more protective Alex, Alex Torres. Alex Torres, right? But the batting helmet hasn't really. And that's outside ball four, and McNeil's on with the walk. He's much bigger than people think he is. Like he, on the field, looks about 5'9. Not running. And a day in the ballpark for Vargas, who catch. Didn't get the fat part of the bat on that ball. The score to run his last time. And did he get nicked by that? Nope. Nope. Got a double his first time up. Got another hit later in the game. One and two to Vogelback. And that breaking ball misses low. Two and two. Two to Vogelback. Cross his call. And he puts it away to retire the some years. Now his call leads off and takes curveball outside from Justin Ver Fascinating team. So much good young talent. I mean, they, they, there was no chance of Jets. Nice play by Lindor, the spinning throw, and he gets it. Old. And at some point, you know where you are on the field at all times. So it's quite remarkable. Bill Bradley wrote a book called The Sense of Where You Are. Yeah. <laughs> as, as maybe old <laughs> Uncle Pat of Abrams. And Nemo drove oh, 48 yes. minutes. That's a good changeup by Verlander to start off Kemp. Lindor with another play this time on the back end. Another one hop. His 11th appearance for Washington. He gets his first fastball in for a strike to Marcana. Runs that slider on the inside corner of the baseball classic. And he strikes out Canna with a slider. <laughs> Beatty. In comes Garcia. Makes the quick toss. Now Omar Narvaez takes a slider for a strike. Arvaez had a sack like a latter-day Jim Cott. I mean, mom, he, mom or grandma's got the great.